Hey everybody, my name is Kim Sieber. Welcome back to my channel. Last week, the Lethbridge Police Service released data for calls to service in Lethbridge. For some reason, they organized that data in reference to the supervised consumption site. Here are two images for reference. The first image is a table of calls for service for 2017 and 2018. And the other is a map for reference. The colors of the table rows match the zone colors on the map. I shared a post from Lethbridge Supports Harm Reduction earlier, a link in the description below, that questions these stats from different perspectives. But there are a couple points I wanted to highlight. First, in speaking to the media, Acting Chief Woods said the following, Quite frankly, we're in that area more, which means that we're putting more resources into that area, which means that in other areas of the city, for example, or even in that same area of the city outside it, depending on the priority of what we're dealing with, our response times will suffer. As a result, we can't get to some things as quickly as we'd like. Obviously, we do things on a priority system, so some of the lower level stuff is waiting longer, which is leading to some frustrations from people in the community. From the standpoint of the police service, our people are starting to get tired because we've been busy. I don't understand this. If you look at the table, you'll see that calls for service around the SCS have increased, but calls in the city overall have gone up by only 0.15%, less than two tenths of 1%. The city as a whole saw an increase of only 52 calls in the second year compared to the first year. That's one extra call for service per week. Maybe it's just me, but one extra call for service per week doesn't seem enough to strain resources. The LPS paid out over 1 million more in wages for their 2018 budget than their 2017 budget. Did they not spend this extra million dollars on more cops? If not, why not? I mean, if they feel strained by an extra call for service per week, you'd think using some of that million dollars for more cops might be something they would do. Second, it's misleading to say that calls for service to the SES increased by 6,000% in 2018 over 2017. The building where the SES sits now was vacant during the last six months of the first reporting period, and the night club that occupied it during the first six months of that reporting period was open only twice per week. So of course there will be only seven calls for service during that reporting period. Plus, half of the calls to the SCS originated from SCS staff, and many of those were related to the partnership agreement between LPS and Arches. It always pays to analyze data critically, rather than using the data to justify your ideology. Thanks for watching. You can follow me online at seber.ca slash Kim. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. If you appreciate the videos I share here on YouTube, the posts I write on my blog, and the content I share on my other social media accounts, please consider making a monthly donation, either through PayPal or Patreon. Creating and curating this content takes a lot of time, but I'm also running a business, which makes my time limited. Your donation would mean I wouldn't have to drum up business to pay my bills, which would allow me to devote more time to researching issues like this one. And I could post videos like this more often. Thank you for your consideration and your support. If you agree with the points I raised in my video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to talking to you again soon.